You know, between paperwork from school, clothing, sports equipment, kids can easily leave your home looking and feeling chaotic. So today, organizing expert Kate Ward from Moxie Life Organizing is here to show us how we can conquer all that clutter. Welcome, good to see you. Um, thank you for having me. So it me. can feel so overwhelming for so many parents to try and declutter and organize the kids area in particular. Where do, where do you start when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed? Well, I do like to zone out an area. Yeah. And sometimes it's simple fixes, like they don't realize that maybe I need to hang hooks, like for oh. the kids to hang up their jackets. Okay. Or, you know, I've had it where I've been in homes and you know, they're like, the kids are throwing the laundry on the floor and I'm like, do they have a laundry bin in their room? You know, so sometimes yeah. it can be a simple fix, but if you're looking at a more large scale project, mm -hmm. first you wanna cast a vision with the kids. And I say that with all my clients is more stuff, more time, more energy, more money. So really talking to the kids, casting a vision, getting them on board with it, saying, okay. you know, we wanna, as a family, spend more time together. Maybe we wanna reward ourselves with a little play or an outing for, you know, for gotcha. decluttering. So gotcha. get them motivated for that. Okay. Yeah, so, and then another thing is, is there's different schools of thought and we're all guilty yeah. of, you know, taking our kids stuff and maybe, you know, on the sly, yes, yes. <laughs> making it disappear. Yes. But I try really hard not to do that and encourage families to really work with side by side with their kids because we want to teach them to have a Well, yeah, it teaches them responsibility and, exactly. and, and self-sufficiency, right? Right, okay. right, absolutely. And so we want to teach them that shared excuse me, responsibility and ownership. Someday they're going to have roommates. Someday they're going to have absolutely. a partner. Absolutely. So those are some big things. And then when we're working with kids, you know, something to keep in mind is keeping it age appropriate. Okay. So you want to be able to embrace some chaos, you know? Right. <laughs> and my son tells me, he's like, Mom, not everything has to be perfect, and it's good. He puts <laughs> in my place <laughs> I realize it does you know and I can't expect my son to you know color code his closet right exactly you know but I know exactly. that I can have him hang stuff up yeah, you know give course. him little jobs and tasks so and you brought you brought some also some physical tools that can help out as well here, yeah right? absolutely so and we're gonna start over here okay so that's one thing too is that oftentimes I'll see families are gonna store clothes if they have another child mm -hmm. or maybe they're getting a size up so what I like to do is keep things in clear containers and give yourself some ground rules or some limits because I've seen it where there's bins and bins and bins right, full. Right. But you know, be conscious of that. Like how much clothes do we really need and mm -hmm. pick your favorites. So with these, you know, another thing that people don't realize is if you roll things up or if you go Mar Mari Kondo I with was your gonna, I, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> yes. yes. You see how I lovely folded those yes, into tacos you for you? Yes. Because it brings us joy. <laughs> it does. <re> <laughs> it's just sparking all over the place. That's right. Yeah. So there's some different things. Another thing, you know, it would be a whole other segment to talk about papers. Yeah, true. That is a big one. Okay. But I do like, you know, vertical files are great okay. to conquer some of that paperwork. And it, again, it sets limits on things. So, you know, like, oh, it's full or consider making like a bucket day on the weekends we yeah. like we're like okay we're gonna sit through together and go through the paperwork do you want to sell knotted bread or should we just donate to the school you Absolutely. know do you want to play Absolutely. soccer go through these also work great for storing craft supplies okay additionally this is um, a, just a male hanging and you can get those and get them all decorative and pretty it up and stuff but it's also I love what you've paper. done here too with with this I know this lazy Susan that's yeah kind of Turntables are huge. I love these in crafting areas, and it's mobile, so you can move it, and you can create a nice display. I love this. Now, what, what do we have over? Same kind of yeah, this same is, idea, right? Yes, Just this is IKEA for the win. But what I love about these is you can take them out. You know, you can easily contain them. You can take out what you need and put it back. So that's another thing. And then I always tell people, you know, the cube shelves are really popular. Right. And I do like those, but sometimes when we can't see what we have, the kids yeah. forget. And it's great for in a main living space if you're trying to, you know, hide. You can see. <laughs> you're just trying to hide. We see a lot of stuff hiding in there. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's great advice. We want to let everyone know that we have put this information on our website, 13onyourside.com. Oliver, how'd she do? Let's bring on Oliver real Oliver, quick. Oliver, come here. Come here real quick. We want to show you off on TV because you're the reason the mom has gotten so organized. And I have to say, I did motivate him to declutter his room. He got rid of two bins of stuff. Great Come job. Over High five, here. man. High five. <laughs> Everything is on our website, 13onyourside.com. Great job. Thanks, everyone. Thank and we'll be right back.